Hello. Hello, good morning. Uh, Mrs. Needham, please. Speaking. Dave. Okay. Hi, very good morning to you. Uh, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to get this uh, this table down to you now until January the 12th. You're joking. Yeah, we've had a delay uh, it coming over from abroad, so it's going to be January the 12th. Now, I just I've just had the phone call myself now, and I thought I'd ring you. I thought I'd ring you straight away to let you know. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted it for Christmas, you see. I did, I wanted it for New Year's Day. That really is the... I mean, they were talking about the end of January, and I said, that's just out of the question, you know, I need it, but she obviously needs it as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, you know, what's as soon as she can get it to us? So, gonna, January the 12th is as soon as we can get it over. Just that when we ordered it, they assured us that it was in stock and it was no problem. Yes, I, I, I can appreciate that. All I can do is apologise. Um, Can't you lend me one? What do you mean, lend you one? Lend me a table. I'm afraid we couldn't, but January the 12th is as soon as we can get it to you. Uh, I just thought I'd ring you straight away so that at least, you know, you can make alternative arrangements. Because, uh, like I said, I didn't know if you were using it at Christmas time. Yeah, I am. Well, that's why we ordered it, because they assured us we could have it by, you know, by Christmas. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's going to be January the 12th. We will be writing to you, obviously, to let you know the uh, delivery date and the time. But it's going to be January the 12th. Absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm really sorry about that. But that's the way it goes, isn't it, really, I suppose? Yeah, but it's not fair, because I, I was assured that I could have delivery by Christmas, and that is why I ordered it. Right. That is why I went there, because I phoned them up and said... You know, I told them which table I wanted, and they said, well, yeah, that's no problem, we can get to you by Christmas. But there, was, there might have been a delay on the chairs. So when I went down and ordered it... Are you listening to me, love? I said January yes. the 12th. I know, I know what you've just said to me, but I was assured I would have it by Christmas. Yeah, well, I'm telling you now that you're not going to get it until January the 12th. Uh, I mean, you know, like I say, I can only apologise, I can't do any more than that. That's the situation, it's outside our, our control, we've had a phone call, they said the end of January. And I've managed to bring it forward, through the goodness of my heart, to January the 12th. Yeah, and I've got a meal booked for New Year's Day for eight people. Well, can't you go around to your mothers or something? No, because they're all coming to me. Well, that's about my knees then, won't they? You know, I mean, I'm trying to be helpful here, love. You're giving me a real hard time about it. You know, I'm just saying it's January the 12th. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Right, okay, fine. That's right, it. January the 12th it is then. Right, well... But I'm not happy about it at all. Why aren't you happy about it? Because when I ordered it, I was assured that it was in stock and available. Well, who and told you that? Who told you that nonsense? When I went down to order it from... Well, I don't know who's told you that. Well, whatever the man's called there. Well, it had to be shipped over. I don't know why he's told you that it was in stock. He, uh, let me just... That was why I said, right, OK, I'll have it, because he said it was in stock and no problem. He said there might be... Are uh, you listening to me, honey? Yes, I know, I am. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? I am. You're telling me it's January the 12th, but what I'm saying to you is the man... Clear has... your ears out and listen to what I'm saying. January the 12th. Hello? Are you still late? Has she gone? Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I don't know what happened I, there. No, I slammed the... I'm not having you telling me to clean my ears out. I don't know what happened there. I just uh, seem to get cut off for some reason. Uh, I'm just trying to sort it out for you, that's all, love. You know, I'm trying to get you sorted out for Christmas, and, uh, you know, you give me a real hard time and slamming the phone down on me. How's that going to sort anything out? Just a wind-up or something. Well, it took you long enough to figure it out, didn't it? Who's that? This is Steve Pank. Joking. <laughs> you are joking. Well, who's done this to me? Susan Osbald Eston, there's a name. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, she says, give her a call, you'll get her going about this table she's expecting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you would have panicked without this table, wouldn't you? I was, I was having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had it on the knees, like I suggested. <laughs> no, they couldn't. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. All right, thank you.